haven't seen one of those in this area yet. We're on our first tour with David. Early in the morning here it's and it's to the fortress, the famous fortress of Cartagena. Lima. Against only 8,000 the city had. But when he was about to capture this fortress, which was the last part to be captured in the city, why? Because uh, there used to be water like this one here against the wall that used to be there and dried, and it became an open field. Mm -hmm. So licenses were given to build these high rise. That is not allowed anymore because the city in the 1986 was of that area. That's we can also see from here up, yes, the church we went by yesterday in the room. That and is known as Boca town. Grande or Boca the Grande. Town. Now, a little about the history of the city and why these constructions. In the year 50 by Pedro de Heredia. Pedro de Heredia. We saw a statue. The statue yes, yesterday yes. lost coldness over the period of time. One was to bring black people from Africa to be sold here and work as slaves. And the other one was to take our gold, silver, emeralds through Cartagena by facing the sky. Well, let's start. It's this way, please. Going up the ramp, baby. Up the ramparts, up the ramparts of the castle fortress. The Pedro will be used for the matrices. The Spanish got one more weak point to defend. It was sometimes galleons with these privateers used to go through the wide entrance. Sometimes they used to come through the narrow entrance. So they decided to do something. They decided to block both entrances. Wide entrance, about two meters in diameter. Then when they finished, you know, doing that in the bay, wide entrance, narrow entrance. When the Spanish finished, surrounding the city by walls, and this fortress, it was almost impossible to get the city because they got the three weak points protecting mainland, right. open sea, and the bay. No aircraft as a means. 1610 to 1812, 200 years to build oh, no, the fortifications. Is, they got here some lights. I don't know if you have noticed, right? And maybe they decided to get it off because it was not good for the wood. At the corner, there is a bridge that connects the old yeah. town to that small island, which is Manga Island. Well, at the end of the wall, in that corner, there is an outdoor bar known as Casa de la Cerveza, a very comfortable place. It's a walking distance from the hotel. You are in the hotel, at the entrance of the hotel, like this. You go to the left and there is a church. You go straight down that street and you get to this bridge. You can see. Right. So at night, let's say seven, you see then the beautiful from the hotel you can see it. If you go to the to the to the swimming pool, you can see of uh, 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 bread of uh, meat or beef. Uh, a portion of soup and agua de panela. Agua de panela is like chicha, but it's made of Melasses, melasses, right? Oh, yeah, delicious. Yeah. And you pay only three three dollar fifty cents for that kind of lunch. lunch. That's what that's where we when we're working here and we got one hour break. Go oh, there, and then I'm back here again, right? That's uh, so you come from the, just in case. You, know, about you can come lunch. and not even eat there if you don't want to eat. Just to sit there, have a Coca Cola or something like that indoors, and they got the beauty, the beautiful view of the fortress. This fortress is amazing. Two hundred years to build it. That's where the cruise ships come in. Only a couple of them at a time. I don't think we were this close to the city when we came with Oceania going through the Panama Canal. We must have stopped at another dock. Yeah. The bridge of Candles. And one of the things that people do is to go up to the top of that hill on horses yes. or donkeys. Donkey. So you get you get your kids and the kids will love to do that, you know, on a donkey. Mm -hmm. That's why they rent it for 1,000 pesos, then they make a, a, a extra bucks. That's why so many horses and donkeys. Wow. That's great. And it's another thing is to eat sugar cane. People go and peel it yeah. and go, you know, to a top chewing. There goes a donkey right now. Yeah, it's a donkey and a lot of horses. better for the defense of that area over there. 
And another thing I can show you here, communication, cell phones, not cell phones, this. Tunnel up. So the new entrance, and closed up the other entrance. Why Felipe? Because Felipe, or Philip, was King Philip IV King Philip in Spain IV when they started the construction. And the Count of Barajas. So that's why, they, like a first name and last name, Felipe yeah. de Barajas. And that's why. We see the flag down there. This is where the parapets were, the cannon were facing to the sh offshore, Stand thinking they were going to get. This was a lookout point for four directions every 15 minutes they went into that parapet and looked through their spy glasses to see if anybody was coming. Folk is going to check that out now. They had a chapel up here obviously. This was a an entrance that they closed up after a hundred years because it was too easy to get into and they built that tunnel we just came up. And here's the new city. Skyline. I I don't think that was the same port we went into, Falcon. No, it's over there. Yeah, he's a dark. There's a maniguana there, sitting on the wall. Oh, he's got his mouth open now. He's cooling off. The idea of the fortress was to block, you know, the way to go to the old town to the Spanish, to the uh, uh, British or uh, uh, or uh, French. So These the fortress was here. built. With, with the small pavilion over there. All well, these bastions are at different levels. In case of an attack down there. From up here, the Spanish could have opened fire and, uh, you know, kill all those enemies down there. But if still, some of them could have made it the way to this wall here.